what's the relationship between Rabbi Akiva, who was, and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, who was, who was the, the, their relationship was the main Rebbe, main students relationship, yeah. right? So here we have a Rebbe Shimon Bar Yochai who was the, who was the mystical person of all of history. He was the giant. He was the giant. He was the, he's, he's the reason why we're making this trip right now. He's, he's the one who, who, who draws more people on one day than any other person in Israel. Yeah. Or any other phenomenon in Israel to his place because he's, he has a connect. He, has, he is such a giant. So what's the connection to Rebbe Akiva? Rebbe Akiva was, was more known for the revealed part of Torah. Right. And Rebbe Shimon Bar Yochai, though he was great in the revealed part of Torah, there's there's not almost no Mishnah that, that, you, that not no Mishnah, but there's, if you go through the entire body of the Talmud, Rebbe Shimon Bar Yochai is all over the place. If we try to get to the essence of Rebbe Akiva, so I think we can say like this. We can say Rebbe Akiva was a man who, as we said a little bit earlier, was a man who understood going from opposites, going in opposite directions. He was a man who, who was totally non-religious, hated the religious, hated the whole observant thing, and then became the, the most loving of God, loving of people, loving of religion, people that, and, and the most wise and articulate scholar there ever was, perhaps. So he went from what we might call darkness and turned all of his darkness into light. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was the same. A Kabbalist on the level of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, or any Kabbalist for that matter, is a person who can look at life and turn the sour into sweet in any situation and turn the darkness into light. That's, and that's who Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was, and that's what he got from his Rabbi, Rabbi Akiva. What does that mean to turn darkness into light? Like for someone who doesn't know much about Kabbalah, what, what does that mean to them? What that means is that any time there is a situation in life that can be somehow declared to be dark, meaning that there's no clarity there, meaning that you, there's no hope in that situation, there's no understanding of what's going on. There's Hashem's presence is not felt in that situation. There is, uh, there, there's pessimism. There's, you know, uh, the, the uh, it, it be, it's something that's very mundane, finite. All these things are like sort of descriptions of what darkness might be. In, the, in any of those situations, a person who is on that level of turning darkness into light is able to see something redeeming in that situation see something that can be that that can to, to understand why that dark situation is the best possible thing that could possibly be